had with the police seems to have been modified somewhat. I warn you, I must warn you, that if you are asked to leave this area by a policeman and you wish to minimise the risk of being arrested, I advise you to do as the police ask and leave the area. Okay. Don't talk to the police, don't take their leave. Don't talk to the police, don't take their leave. You cannot be arrested on this. Do not talk to the police. Shame. 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 Shame.
Genocide and Ecocide Movement, a Pan-African Reparations Movement that Esther and others will talk to you about further that is in partnership with Extinction Rebellion. I'm now going to hand over the mic to Kwame, who is going to play to you the attendance. Come forward, come forward, come forward, come forward, sit down, fill the square, fill the circle. Raise your hand, raise your hand. 
I'd now like everyone to be here and to listen. This is Esther. Esther is one of the, the founders of the Stop the Melangamizi Recharge Genocide Nucleoside Campaign, a campaign formed here in the UK from activists across West Africa, primarily around Ghana and that kind of coast. Okay? She's going to talk to you now about how Stop the Melangamizi has formed a partnership with Extinction. I now welcome another voice to the stage of a young man by the name of Sam Atherton. Sam's father is English and his mother is Kenyan. He grew up for the first 11 years of life in Kenya and he'll tell you more about it in a moment. Sam is here today because he was in his third year of PPE at Oxford and decided that the people who were not being taught 
anything about the future of our world. So Sam's here to tell you his story and to tell you why we need rebellion. Hello, Mr. This is beautiful, guys. What we're doing is amazing. Give yourselves massive round of applause. Circus, I'm scared. Can you off? Yeah. It's terrifying about what the future holds for me and my generation. I've had sleepless nights, rough and flagged nights here about where the world is headed. But believe it or not, my own. That's what we've been told. We have three more summers in this country, like the one that we last had. It's a massive future. We are making love that we've got the resources to deal with that in a capable manner. You haven't given Aaron Warnick! who are dying right now, these are the they did not call. We got a legal server, please. Up the circus. We got a legal server. Today, on International Day, it's time to go. Of the circus. I like us today. On no, to stay strong! To just stop and think. Remind ourselves why we're doing this. Sure, we're all scared. We're all scared about what the future holds for us. But we also have to remember the injustice of this crisis. World's tallest. Think about Byron. The people out in Mozambique, children, the grandparents, the lives that were taken far too early. Those are the people who got this place to go. These are the people who got this place to go.
Humanity finds itself embroiled in an event unprecedented in its history, one which, unless immediately addressed, will catapult us further into the destruction of all we hold dear. This nation, its peoples, our ecosystems, and the future of generations to come. The science is clear. We are in the sixth mass extinction event, and we will face catastrophe if we do not act swiftly and robustly. Biodiversity is being annihilated around the world. Our seas are poisoned, acidic, and rising. Flooding and desertification will render vast tracts of land uninhabitable habitable, and lead to mass migration. Our air is so toxic that the United Kingdom is breaking the law. It harms the unborn whilst causing tens of thousands to die. The breakdown of our climate has already begun. There will be more wildfires unpredictable superstorms, increasing famine and untold drought as food supplies and fresh water disappear. The ecological crises that are impacting upon this nation and indeed this planet and its wildlife can no longer be ignored, denied, nor go unanswered by any beings of sound rational thought, ethical conscience, moral concern or spiritual belief. In accordance with these values, the virtues of truth and the weight of scientific evidence, we declare it our duty to act on behalf of the security and well-being of our children, our communities, and the future of the planet itself. We, in alignment with our consciences and our reasoning, declare ourselves in rebellion. In rebellion against our government and the corrupted, inept institutions that threaten our future. The willful complicity displayed by our government has shattered meaningful democracy and cast aside the common interest in favour of short-term gain and private profits. When government and the law fail to provide any assurance of adequate protection, as well as security for its people's well-being and the nation's future, it becomes the right of its citizens to seek redress in order to restore beautiful democracy and to secure the solutions needed to avert catastrophe and protect the future. It becomes not only our rights, it becomes our sacred duty to rebel. We hereby declare the bonds of the social contract to be null and void. Which the government has rendered invalid by its continuing failure to act appropriately. We call upon every principled and peaceful citizen to rise with us. We demand to be heard, to apply informed solutions to these ecological crises and to create a national assembly by which to initiate